Hola, hola. This is the last lesson of Unit 1.2. We have, um, we've actually finished all the things we were going to study this chapter. We had vocab about extracurricular activities, what you do after school, those kind of things. Uh, we also talked about saber and conocer, two verbs that mean to know, but different kinds of to knows. We talked about tan and tanto, as much or as many. And we also talked about aceque, time expressions using aceque, like it's been this long that. So these are the lessons that we've just done. Now we're going to go through and just do a real quick, real quick recap of, um, of, uh, of those lessons, uh, just to kind of make sure that you're good with everything. Now if you struggle with one of these, I suggest you go back and go to the full lesson. This is just a quick review for you. All right, let's start by looking at ton and tanto, making comparisons. Now remember, in Spanish one, we said like, um, yo soy más alto que, more tall than. Yo soy más alto que mi esposa. Yo soy más inteligente que Albert Einstein. Uh, yo tengo más amigos que, bueno, que nadie. Oh well. Um, so we, we did the más que before, but now we're using como instead of que, because we're not saying more than, we're saying as much as, or as many as. So remember, tan, como, as, as, it's used with an adjective, so tan, adjective, como, as, tall as, um, instead of more tall than, we're saying as tall as, más alto como, um, más, or I'm sorry, tan alto como, tan inteligente como, uh, and then we also had tanto, which was as much or as many, to say like tantas actividades como, El club de ajedrez tiene tantas reuniones como el club de computadoras, as many meetings as. And um, remember, tanto changes with gender number. So let's look at a few examples. Let's practice a few of these. Make sure you got them down. Okay, first one here. Juan tiene blank dinero blank María. So if it's money, if it's a noun, what are we going to use? Well, we're going to use as much or as many, as much money as, and that would be Tanto. Juan tiene tanto dinero como María. Next one. Juan Republic tiene blank. Canciones blank. Imagine dragons. Again, we got a noun in the in the spot in between those two. So it's a noun that we're comparing. I mean, we're comparing between two bands. We're talking about the number of songs. So you wouldn't say as songs as, which tan canciones como. That would be as songs as. We'd say as much or as many. And since it's las canciones, feminine, what would go in the blank? Okay, One Republic tiene tantas canciones buenas como Imagine Dragons. Or, I'm sorry, tantas canciones como Imagine Dragons. Now, I don't know if this, that's factual or not. It's just an example. Tres. El libro es blank, bueno, blank, la película. Now, in this case, we don't have a noun in between the two. We're not saying it's as many or as much. We're just saying it's as good as. So when it's as good as, what goes in the blank before? Tan. Tan bueno como la película. El libro es tan bueno como la película. As, adjective, as. Que okay, la banda es blank, grande, blank, el coro. As much big as? No. We would just say as big as. Once again, if we're just saying as big as, if it's just an adjective in the middle, we won't use the tanto. We save the tanto ones for the nouns. Tan grande como. El coro. And cinco, las artes marciales son blank, difíciles, blank, el hockey. Well, by this point, we see that they're all como. So if we're saying as much difficult or as difficult, as difficult, so it's just simply tan. Okay, that's a quick little review of tan and tanto. Um, go back and watch those other videos, the few videos prior to this one if you want more details on those. Uh, this is just meant, as, like I said, as a review. Okay, next thing we had was saber and conocer. Dos verbos que quieren decir to know. Saber y conocer. Saber, facts, knowledge, how to, memorize, know it by heart. Saber, that's knowledge. Conocer, familiarity. Ah, I've been there. I know that place. I've been there. Hey, I know Paco. I know him. He's a nice guy. It's not the facts, it's the knowledge, it's recognition. In fact, that cognition, cog, that to cognize, that comes from the same place as conocer. So recognition, familiarity, knowing something, 
or I'm sorry, knowing somebody or knowing a place by familiarity, by acquaintance. So here we go. We've got a little dialogue here between my amigos, mis amigos, Napoleón, por supuesto que es Napoleón Dinamita, Napoleón y Pedro. Napoleón, Napoleón dice, hola Pedro, blank, si tenemos un examen en la clase de español, do you know, si tenemos un examen, if we have a test, what would we put in the blank, do you know if we have a test? Well, that's factual knowledge, that's stuff like that. ¿Sabes si tenemos un examen en la clase de español? Pedro responds, no, no. And it's going to be saber, because that's what he asked. But remember, saber is irregular in the yo form. We never say sabo. Pedro says, no, no sé. Napoleón, caramba. Pedro, Napoleón, tú blank a Trish? You know Trish. And again, we've got, we've got that personal a, ah, because it's a person. You know Trish? Well, what are we going to use here? Well, if you know a person, it's familiarity like that, we're going to use Conocer. So, ¿tú conoces a Trish? Napoleon replies, Por supuesto, yo... Again, remember, conocer is going to be irregular in the yo form. Yeah, I know Trish. Por supuesto, yo conozco a Trish. You blank que ella es mi novia. Tú... Now, if you know that she is my girlfriend. Now, this is where some people get confused. They think, Oh, girlfriend, that's a person. That's going to be conocer. No, we're not saying you know her. That would be conocer. But you know the fact that she is my girlfriend. Fact. Que tú sabes que ella es mi novia. You know the fact that she is my girlfriend. We're, again, we're not saying you know her. And the reason I'm adding so much emphasis is because people have asked me about this in class several times. We're not saying, do you know her? We're saying, do you know that she is my girlfriend? I'm sorry, you know that she is my girlfriend. Tú sabes que ella es mi novia. Okay, that's our quick little review of saber and conocer. If you want more details on that, you can go back and find them. Okay, wrapping up here, almost done. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Okay, we're doing the how long have you been, uh, how long have things been going on? Now, we talked about the question. When you ask the question, ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? As we're getting started with this concept, we'll always have that phrase. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? How long does it make that? And then you have a regular present tense sentence. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? Vives en Arizona. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? Estudias el español. Okay. And when we respond, well, let's go ahead and do this first one. So, ¿Cuánto tiempo hace Okay, estamos en clase hoy. The response, uh, again, our first word that we always use when we're first learning this is hace. Hace time K. So hace, and we'll just say 30 minutos K. Hace time K. Hace 30 minutos K. Estamos aquí. Let's look at this next one. Hace muchos años blank vives en Arizona. What goes in the blank? Hace time que. Hace muchos años que vives en Arizona. Si hace diez años que vive en, vive en, uh, perdón, que vivo en Arizona. Que vivo aquí. Let's look at the next one. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que no juegas al ajedrez? How, okay, in this case we're using a no verb that you don't play chess. It, um, so, how long has it been that you don't play chess? In other words, how long has it been since you played chess? Hace dos meses que no juego al ajedrez. Okay. Okay, so, that's your quick little review there. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? Hace, period of time, que. And then a present tense clause, a present tense sentence. Okay. Let's try a couple more with that. How much time does it make that you participate in the band? Good, see if you can do that one. How does it start out? ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que tú participas en la banda? It makes five years that I participate in the band. Okay, we want to say it's been five years or I've been in the band for five years. What's the first word? 
hace period of time cinco años que I participate in the band participo en la banda and to wrap this up for how long have you known Esteban what do we ask in the question here it goes cuánto tiempo hace que cuánto tiempo hace que and then you know Esteban are we going to use saber or conocer conocer cuánto tiempo hace que conoces a Esteban I have known Esteban for three years first word comes out of your mouth Hace, period of time, que, hace tres años, que conozco a Esteban. Okay, and that'll do it for our review of this unit. Um, if you had questions or if you had struggles, if you were unclear on some of this stuff, either talk to me about it or go back and watch some of the previous lessons. Buena suerte. Adios. Oh, by the way, extra credit. Um, those of you that are my students, when we take the test, Extra credit, I'm looking at the map right now. Extra credit is going to be on, let's say, map of South America. Be able to name countries in South America. Let's do the Cono Sur. Uh, let's do the southern coast. Actually, let's just do the bottom half of South America. Let's say from Bolivia on down. Okay. Buena suerte. Ciao.